Hey guys, this is Scott Leroy, Scott Leroy Marketing, coming in for another weekly update. And today's update is actually about getting prepped and ready for the new KW sites that will be launching in October, if not maybe even a little bit before that too. All right, now with that being said, in order to actually get the site prepped and ready, obviously we talked previously about making sure you have your domain or subdomain on Playster set up properly. You've downloaded all of your content from Playster. Now we're going to talk about actually getting the site ready. So you won't have access to it quite yet. But there are a couple things you can do on command to make sure that you're prepped and ready for this. Now, much like on Playster, or in this case, I'm going to actually use eEdge as an example. All right, for eEdge, on your CRM section and your website, it's all in one location where your info will funnel out. All right, that's going to be the exact same on here, too. So if we click on our name at the top right up here and we select settings, this is where we can actually access all of our different command settings, all right, including the information that will auto-populate over on our website. All right, now right now the main thing that we would want to focus on is under connect settings, all right, because that's where our marketing profile is going to be. Now just to give you a heads up, the agent site very soon, whenever it launches for you, will actually be under command setting right down here. All right, so you'll see it'll actually say agent site on there where you can access the back end to add inside your logo, you can change the theme, you can add inside pages, you can add inside featured listings or neighborhoods, all right, and then very soon even more you'll be able to add in. All right, but the first thing that you'll want to do to prep for this site before it's even live on here is to make sure this marketing profile is set up. Now, obviously, you want to make sure this marketing profile is set up so it'll automatically populate over in Sketch House, over on your neighborhood landing pages, over on your landing pages in general, your email campaigns that are coming out soon. All right, so a bunch of different items on here. But regardless, this will also help with your, or not placed your site, sorry, I need to change that verbiage, your Canopy site as well. All right, so obviously anything that says required on here, you'll want to make sure you add in like your headshot, obviously, or your name on here, for instance, even your bio as well, designations, phone numbers, email, you know, the website you probably don't need to worry about, but that'll obviously help as well, you know, just for the additional items I was talking about, like Sketch House, like the landing pages, All right, your market center info on here as well, your legal footer in case you happen to need that. Or, of course, your social media information. All right, here are the top five you might want to utilize, or your branded app link, too. Now, as long as everything's been added in that is required, once you click that Save option, it'll automatically save for you. Now, the good part is you can change this at any time. All right, so if you want to come back here and update this later on, you're definitely more than welcome to. All right, but this will help to not only get your marketing pieces up and running, but it'll also help to prep for that new agent website to make it a seamless transition. All right, so we're trying to make this as simple as possible with two months to go. So there you go. So that is your KDB command tip for the day.